National senior certificate examinations are underway. Thousands of grade 12 pupils wrote their computer technology paper and information technology exam this week. Next week, learners across the country will write their first English paper. Less than a week away, we've brought in someone to tell us how best to prepare for exams. I'm now joined in studio by Mindset Screen and Content Manager, John McBride. Thanks so much for joining us on VOCA Africa. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. Tell us about what I should do if I'm not only a matric pupil watching, but someone who's perhaps at varsity and it's just before my exams. Well, the first thing that I would recommend is that you need to know what's in the exam. And so being aware of what you're going to be asked is really important. And so in terms of the grade 12s, the, the Department of Basic Education have put down out exam guidelines. So I would recommend that every learner and parent make sure that they've got those exam guidelines so they know exactly what's going to happen in the exams. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing is to, to make sure that you've analysed from your previous work, your prelim examinations, where your areas of strength and weakness are. And, and that's really important as well. Something that, that I would have encouraged learners to do with their teachers. So for example, if they know that they're writing the accounting exam on Tuesday, um, that they know exactly what they're going to do in terms of where their strengths and weaknesses are. Okay. And, and that's really important because you don't want to be spending so much time in the exam room on something that you're going to fall apart at. You want to do your best work first. Uh, uh, does that, yeah, make that makes sense? You, you want to get the most marks. You want to prove to the examiners that you actually know something. Um, then there are a whole lot of tips that I would, would suggest that parents need to be, be focusing on their, their, teacher, their learners at this time. And the one thing that I think is really important, uh, it's just basic healthy living. Um, we need to make sure that our, our kids do get enough sleep. Um, the tendency uh, before exams, whether you're a, 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 a university student, and I've got some at home, um, or I'm a, a grade 12 learner, is to see if I can cram as much into my studying before the, the day before the exam. It's going to backfire. Because if you don't get enough sleep, you're not going to be as sharp as you could be. I would recommend at least six hours a day, uh, an evening of sleep. Mm -hmm. So whether that means you go to bed early, um, and, and then wake up early. Depends on, on people. Some people are late night, but try and get at least six hours of sleep. The other thing is to make sure that you've got the correct diet. Um, eating before an exam on the morning, whether it's just some fruit or some, uh, an egg, or some protein, but there must be something in the tummy before you go and write mm. the exam. Um, the other thing is exercise making sure you, you have a routine of exercise. So that might be uh, late afternoon or even early morning doing some exercise. It doesn't have to be an extended gym session of two hours, no, uh, uh, 20 minutes. Something, to get the Something blood just going. to get the body going, mm -hmm. to make sure that we're distracted, we're not all that focused. And then okay. if I may, the, the third area that I think that is really important, apart from knowing what's in the exam, knowing your areas of weakness, having a, a good lifestyle, um, is some exam technique. When you go into the exam, there needs to be a strategy about what you're actually going to do. Mm. And using your time, reading those questions carefully and making sure you answer what you know first, those are the, 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 the crucial things that I would suggest are, are really important. Okay, I'm asking this question more for myself than anyone no, watching. No I'm the kind of person who will work quite hard mm. and then at some and then just not do anything and then like a week before the exam be like, oh, what am I going to do? If you're in that position at home now watching, what must you do besides not cramming and sleeping a lot? Okay, so uh, if you're in that position, it's last minute, you've got to do some revision. Uh, there, there are two options. Um, I would suggest getting into a study group and ticking off, <laughs> off some ideas with a friend, and, yeah. and that's really good. Yeah. Learning takes place in a social environment. Yeah. Um, I, I don't recommend that on the morning of the exam. Don't go and ask your friends, please teach me mm -hmm. this thing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, I'm part of, of the Learn Extra team, and, and we've got a whole website of 
critical information that, that learners can go and access. So I, I would really like to see people that are, are struggling um, to join us and to, to go onto our website, learn.mindset.co.za. And the day before the exam, we've got some of the top teachers um, presenting crucial study tips. So join oh, us at between 3.30 and 5 in the afternoon um, on, the, on the, the Mindset channel. Okay, so that's a way of learning. What other t what's the final tip perhaps that you can give to learners who are preparing for the exam? Okay, final tip that I would say is, guys, you've got the confidence to know you can go do, do the best. Be motivated. You've, you know what you've got. Go and do it and achieve the best. Thank you very much, John McBride. He's the Mindset Schooling Content Manager, speaking to us about your exam study tips. Good luck if you are writing.